Welcome one and all. It's podcast season guys, the Islanders are doing their podcast appearances and Io's kind of gone semi-viral for this clip here, have a look. Best met his brother since they left the villa. <laughs> wait, 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 right, cool. <laughs> who am I ch- wait, who am I chatting to you? Because, listen, I'm Noah's brother, one, two. <laughs> what do you mean siblings? Like, this ain't like... No, wait, what? What, that we look alike? No, no. no. Oh. She said, have I? Talking to your brother. Yeah, uh-huh. there's a uh, there's oh, bare comments. Oh my brother. Yeah. There's bare comments saying that we no, need to go. Oh, seriously? Yeah. No, don't do that. You're helping them. Yeah, it's, you no. are helping Who them. Who cares, though? No. Just meet my team. Uh, do you know what's mad? I kind of get it. Is I kind of get That's it. That's crazy. I got only with features, though, like ever so slightly. Um, no. But no. Lucky she, you. She spoke to yeah, my brother. As soon as I got my phone back. She was on the yeah. phone to him. Me and his brother so, are cool. Okay. We were literally on the phone for there like half an hour. There was never an issue. Yeah. Right. And he, he was like, you're sis. Like, you're... Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, brother, yeah, yeah, yeah. So please, everyone, please. Everyone. Allow it, please. Allow it. Allow it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, I get it. He obviously, for some reason in that moment thought that someone was implying that him and Jess looked like siblings when that wasn't really the question at all. It was something quite other. A lot of people seem to be mocking him for maybe being slow on the uptake, but I'm not going to do that because I think it's a bit mean. We all have days where we're slow. We all have days where we misunderstand stuff. And while I think it was a bit of a weird thing for him to assume, i.e. people were saying, you and your girlfriend look like brother and sister, nevertheless, I, I don't think he deserves all the flack he's getting. Purely my opinion, you understand. Now, they had this reunion, which I covered very briefly in a video, my last video I put up there. Let's have a look at it in a bit more detail. I'm not going to go into all of it because I'm sure you're all aware of what happened. Here's a video Sean made about the reunion day. And is this his voice on the video? Because the video is he's sounding a bit dark and creepy. So here's dark and creepy Sean doing a voiceover of his video about what happened, well, the prep for the reunion and actually at the reunion. Wow, wow, wow. Let me take you through a very hectic Wednesday. We started the day off with interviews with beautiful Matilda. Look at her. She looks stunning. A uh, boy Callum's taking us around everywhere. Legend. We then had a podcast at Not My Bad with Joe and Lisa. Oh my God, we had so much fun. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Graham, the legend outside the hotel. Look at him. We were then getting ready for tonight. Tonight was the last do for the Islanders. Big shout out to Google for the phone. Thank you so much, honestly. We then had like a meet and greet before a big party upstairs at Radio Rooftop Bar. Absolutely love seeing you guys. Then we got lit upstairs with everyone. Oh my God, it was so good to see everyone. Everyone's on the vibes. So as you can see from that video, the party was clearly sponsored by Google Pixel 8, who if you recall sponsored First Look, every First Look video that went up last season was sponsored by Google Pixel 8, so they obviously paid for it, I was wondering who'd done that, they must have done that. It's a real shame once again that we couldn't have a proper reunion, because we did get a little bit of drama, we got Diamante and Ruby arguing, but I don't want to cover that because it's like meh. We know they've been arguing already. We, we, I, I don't see the point of covering that. We had a little bit of drama with Jess. Now, Jess, I'm the prize Jess, was seen leaving the party with Harry, the other bombshell, and they were getting a bit close, a bit warm and cuddly. The photos you should be seeing on your screen right now. And obviously the newspapers have been saying, well, she's latched on to Harry having broken things off with Hugo because he was caught cheating the night of the final, which now... I realise Hugo completely disputes. Here's a video clip from a live stream with Hugo and Munvir and I think Tiffany and possibly someone else, it's difficult to see, in which Hugo says he didn't cheat on her. Oh, right. Hugo, they want me to ask if you cheated on GCSE. They keep asking that. No, I did not cheat. I did not cheat. I was going to spill the tea, but I lost. We ended things, so I didn't cheat. Oh, somebody said, ask him as Charlotte the prize. <laughs> Listen, I can't answer these questions. Okay. The expert. The expert. Yes. Hugo, how do you feel about the pictures of Jess and the Harry? I mean, good for them. Like, to be fair, I like Harry. I get on with him, so I'm pleased for him. Yeah, that's good. Good for my night, yeah. Night, 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 night. night. See you later, Charlotte. See ya. Good night. Now, those photos do look like perhaps there was something going on, but... You know what? Kieran and Nicole have rushed to defend Jess 
to say there's nothing in those photos. So all of you people, all the thousands of you, sorry, all the hundreds of you who are interested, all the tens of you, all three of you who are interested in this story, calm down, there's nothing to see. I don't think there was anything in that Jess and Harry picture. You would put your arm around Jess, or like, do you know what I mean? I yeah, think it's yeah, really just... have been taken out of a portion. <laughs> I don't think it's what yeah. the intent that is there. Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, then, just we're all, it? and like we're all such good friends. All of us are so close. Like putting your arm around somebody, I wouldn't think anything of it. So even we rung Jess and said, Jess, yeah. anything you want to tell us? And she was like, like No, it's, it's not. Loads what you of think them were all there, like all in a group, but it just looks like it was only yeah. Jess and Harry. Yeah. I've got to admit, guys, I'm going to be honest. It is hard finding stuff out about these islanders now. I think the problem is that without the reunion show in sight, there seems to be no kind of goal to aim for here. They're just out there doing stuff. And as I said in a previous video, things are cooling off very quickly, it would seem, with this season of Love Island. I mean, these guys, I don't really think interest is there. There's interest definitely in Josh and Mimi, but I'm just not sure the interest is as strong in the general Love Island cast and the general Love Island afterburn, if you could say that, you know, since the show, than there normally is for a season. And maybe that's just been spoiled by the fact that the whole Joey Essex thing overshadowed the show and what Joey Essex has said since the show was over has also kind of overshadowed the show and spoiled things a bit. I could be completely wrong, just my opinion. But there's a little update for you. And if you were wondering whether it was just a rumor that Nicole and Kieran have moved in, they have actually moved in. Here they are, confirming that they've moved in. 21 years old, moving in, I just think, so young. Wow, yeah. <sighs> maybe it will last, or maybe once they've moved in, they'll realize this was not the greatest idea. We have moved in together. Kieran's moved into my home. Yes, I've moved into Nicole's well, house. Well, we haven't been home. We've been hotel hopping, so we haven't even, like, l actually lived in the house yet because we're still up in London, obviously, and my home's in Wales. So he has moved in, but we actually have an experience living in yeah. our home. No, yeah. I've, I've stayed at yours, haven't I? Yeah. But maybe, what, like, three, four hours before we left for London, we, yeah. we, spoke, we said, oh, yeah, we'll May move as well. in. Yeah. But I haven't actually been there since. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so he lives there, but we haven't been there.